Hi again. In this video I'm going to show you how to configure RIP version 2. RIP stands for Routing Information Protocol. It's a dynamic routing protocol and it's one of the simplest ones. Actually it's the first dynamic routing protocol in the world of internet working. Uh, so it's very easy what we have here. We have two routers. So when, whenever you deal with uh, routing, so you have to look at routers. So we have two routers, RTA and RTB. So this router here, RTA, connects to a LAN with network address 192.168.10.0/24, and a WAN with network address 10.0.0.0/30. RTB connects to a LAN 192.168.20.0/24, and WAN also, which is 10.0.0.0/30. And of course, again, we repeat uh, by LAN. You recognize the LAN because the interface of router is a fast Ethernet interface. Ethernet is a LAN technology. And WAN here, we know we recognize WAN because router connects through a serial interface to this segment. Serial is always a WAN technology. So now, uh, we I already configured this device with IP address. So if you hover the mouse on the computer on this PC, you will see that this PC has already been assigned with IP address, subnet mask, and default gateway. Uh, again, if you hover the mouse on a server here, you will find that this is, we'll see the IP address of the server and the gateway. Same story with the routers, RTA, so the fast Ethernet 00, 0 interface has an IP address as well as a serial 0 slash 0 slash 0 interface. It has also its own IP address. Both interfaces are up and running. Same thing with RTB, it has the uh, fast Ethernet 00, 0 and serial interface 0 slash 0 slash 0 uh, configured with our IP address respectively. Both interfaces are up and running correctly. So there is no issue on this side. Uh, what is remaining is just configure this RIP routing protocol. So I go to RTA, command line interface, and what I notice here, okay, I go to the privilege exec mode and I want to display the routing table. So what we see, what we see here, we see there are two entries. These entries, uh, these entries are related to the segments which are physically attached to RTA. And you see physically attached through this character C which indicates connected. So what do we have here? We have the segment 10.000 which is directly connected through the serial interface and 192.168.10.0/24 which is also directly connected through the fast Ethernet 00. So as long as, as soon as you bring up the two interfaces and of course assign to them IP address, bring them up, then these two entries are going to populate the routing table and this is a very important information. So what we noticed, RTA has no information about 192 about segment 192.168.20.0. So I'm using the term segment in generically speaking. Uh, I'm not referring to this network as LAN or, or WAN. Uh, same story here. You go to RTB. Let me just resize this window. And if I uh, go to the uh, to the privilege exec mode, this is because it's from the privilege exec mode that you can display a routing table. So now I notice also that RTB has two entries in its routing table. Those entries depict the uh, segments to which it is physically connected. Now, uh, we want RTA to learn about existence of network 192.168.20.0. We also want RTB to learn about the existence of network 192.168.10.0. We know how to do that using static routing. Now we're going to do this using a dynamic routing. So as we say dynamic routing, just go to the router, global configuration mode, and then configure routing protocol. What I do, I type this keyword router, and the router I can put question mask here, a, a question mark, in order to see all routing protocols supported by uh, Cisco Packet Tracer routers. We have the BGP, we have the EIGRP, we have OSPF, we have RIP. So for me, I'm going to choose RIP routing protocol. Okay, and then I press enter. Now I want to configure RIP version 2. As you see here, we want version 2. Very simple. Just type this command, RIP version 2. So I will try in one of my next videos to cover information about RIP routing protocol in details. But for now, we just show, we just see the simplest, uh, the simplest concept of RIP routing protocol. So version 2. Now after that, what do I need to do? 
I need to enable reprocessing protocol on the two attached networks which are physically connected to RTA. How? I have to type the keyword network and then I just write the network address which is of each one, the classful network address of the LAN interface which is 192.168.10.0 the classful network address okay and then I go to network here I go to the second line and I put the comment network specify the network address of the one interface but we have to be very careful here we have to put the the classful network address because if there is a subnetting or something just remove the subnetting just include the 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 classful uh, form of your network address so like this what I have done I have enabled uh, reprocessing protocol on this interface which is which has an IP address that is extracted from this network address and also on this interface serial interface which is assigned an IP address extracted from this network address after that I type enter now you see I did not specify any destination network I just specify on which interfaces I want reprocessing protocol to be enabled after I finish that I type exit exit that's it now I go to when I display routing table still I don't have that information because uh, the second router is not configured yet now I go to RTB I do the same thing uh, I'm going to go to the global configuration mode type the keyword router rip okay also I want to configure sorry it's a typo here router rip and then I want to configure version 2 rip version 2 so I have to specify version 2 and then after that well I can see all the commands available under uh, routing protocol reprocessing protocol but for me I just want to enable this reprocessing protocol on these two interfaces so what I have to do I have to specify I have to type the keyword network and then specify the network address of the IP address assigned to faucet 0 it is 192.168.20.0 the classful uh, network address again here this is the IP address of serial interface of RTB I have also to represent the classful uh, network address related to that IP address this is very important because if you try to put a subnet address reprocessing protocol will ignore the subnet address it will always go back to the classful uh, network address this is very important now after I'm done I press and control Z go to the privilege exec mode now look what happens I go to RTA previously I had two entries here those entries related to segments physically attached now I will display my routing table and I discover there is a third entry this entry here which shows uh, the network the remote the network address of remote network which is 192.168.20.0 and what we know about this we know that the, the information about the existence of this network was learned through advertisement initiated by reprocessing protocol look at R R means RIP and this information was received from IP address 10.0.0.2 which is the IP address of the serial interface of RTB okay uh, of course it was received on serial interface serial 000 okay it was received from this serial interface on this real interface from IP address 10.0.0.2 similarly on RTB we learn about the existence I'm going to display the routing table now we have a third entry here this is our new entry that we discovered now so we know about the existence or RTB learned about the existence of this remote network 192.168.10.0 through advertisement initiated by RIP R stands for RIP and this advertisement was received on serial interface 0 slash 0 slash 0 which is this interface of RTB from this IP address from this IP address which means that this is the source of this information in other words is uh, RTA is the source of the information about 192.168.10.0 which means that next time if RTB receives 
a packet this tina to this network is going to forward the packet to this next hop ip address similarly here if rta receives a packet this tina to network 192.168.20.0 is going to simply forward it to this next hop ip address 10.0.0.2 and like this you see we populate routing table or routing tables are populated dynamically we did not configure this but this was added through the uh, exchange initiated by rip routing protocol now i go to pc0 from here uh, well i can i can check my network parameters so i'm going to see uh, if it works so i'm going to trace route to the server 192.168.20.1 now we see that it goes to the default gateway, next IP address, second router, and finally to the target. I can also access the web server. So assume this is acting as a web server. I go to the browser, put the IP address of the web server, assuming the server is acting as a web server. Okay, and here it is, we are accessing the website.